Well, here's hoping. Uh, the world is my lobster at the moment. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Scotty, Scotty, do you not find radio so boring these days? Well, I personally do because the, the big companies have bought up all the local stations, virtually yep. taken every ounce of localness out of them, yep. taken away all the personality presenters, and are turned able, it into are, a jukebox. On YouTube, are we able to uh, mention radio stations? Or no, that... we'll not. We'll not do that because you know that sort of starts directing um, things. Right. So I'd rather we didn't do that because then we can say more. Yeah. You know. It's so frustrating when I mean, you're 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 driving from Edinburgh, Glasgow, Perth, Dundee. Mm -hmm. Well, listen. If you remember, Andy, do you remember Scott FM? to 101 FM. Yeah, 100 point three and 101. And now um, it's a music station now. Now, Scott FM, without a shadow of doubt, and this is why I went with it, because when I came to Scott FM, they hadn't started doing business. They were still new, and they yeah. weren't doing much business. But I had a look at the power for the transmitters, where they were situated, etc. the management, two ITV stations. I thought, this is perfect. This is the biggest opportunity in Scottish radio ever. And that includes yep. the launch of Clyde and Forth. And I thought, no, no, this 10 is... 10 to 1 on Scott FM night, weeknight. 10 to 1. Now, everybody to, loves Scott uh, FM because Andy it did the news. It did superb music. They had yep. personality presenters. You could phone oh, in and talk them. to the presenters. They would take your call. It had uh, speech radio. It had phone-ins, it had, it had, it had discussion, it had sport, massive yeah. sports stuff. The worst decision they made was when they moved you to the mid-morning show. Well, no, I don't I don't agree, and I'll tell you for why. It might not have been good for me because it got the backs up of the other stations because it was virtually tearing the heart out of their market and giving it on a plate to Scott FM. But right. what it did do, I, I found... At night time, the audience was round about the 200,000 mark. We doubled it during the day. Really? I didn't want to go on during the day, but it doubled the audience from the nights. It was a, night, it was a nightmare when you, were, when you were working during the day and you couldn't listen to you. I know. We had sales reps going and... out for messages. We had folks go up to all sorts to pinch a wee bit of the phone in. Ah, but Scotty. At that point, you only had to be fat Thunderheads and uh, the old fat housewives. Yes, the old fat housewives. But I'll tell.